Okay, to get to the Muse from abroad, we're going to have to complete a little bit more of A Mother's Love. It's going to start in front of the Gideon Mansion where we did the elephant mission. The daughter has left us this box on the bench outside the front of the house. And we're going to investigate these two pieces of evidence. Now we're back at Sherwood Manor. Sherlock's childhood home. Make sure to pin the proper evidence. In this case, it's fragmented memory. Now you can walk through and put these memories together. When we come up to cutscenes, I'm going to pretty much blow through them. You won't see much of the cutscenes here. And when we come up to dialogue, just exhaust all your dialogue options. Here we have one of John's challenges. It's just a quick single move game of chess. Defend the king with the bishop and you will complete that challenge. And now we can start to investigate Sherlock's mother's room. I'm taking you through all the evidence items here so that you can at least have the key evidence items to progress in the story. In most cases, it will also cover all evidence. Kind of save this suitcase for last because we got a little vial that we're going to want to do a chemical analysis on, but it really doesn't matter what order you do it in. Because we have a negative number in one of our reagents. We have an operation up here that will convert any positive to negative.
Now that we've put those events into order, we have a visitor downstairs. We're going to go talk to him. And that's going to actually start our Muse from Abroad case. Go in here, talk to our friend Vogel, exhaust all your conversation options, or at least whatever's possible. Then you can head downstairs and figure out who broke into his basement gallery. After we give our findings to Vogel, we're going to head on over to the Chronicle and use their archives. The 
artist is a celebrity. We're going to look for any articles or interviews. And he's in Old City. And there we got a hit. Got an address. First, we're going to make a quick stop at this clothing trader. And we're going to purchase two full disguises. Because we're going to need one after we dress as the artist. So follow along here, buy the items we need to dress as the artist, and then we're going to buy a casual African outfit, which we're going to need right after we investigate the artist. Now we're going to just going to run through his whole apartment, look at all the evidence, and eventually uncover the clue that will send us to the next location.
All we're doing here to complete John's challenge is not tell the landlady that Mercurio is dead. Gonna come outside, get dressed into that African outfit. I always talk to a child because a child always gives me the answer that I need. And they're gonna help me find the woman in the photograph.
You have to speak to the chief of police, ask him about the tattoo that you saw on the dead man. That's going to lead us to our final location. Bye. 
Dress as a police officer, you'll be able to walk right in. You already have that outfit, you don't need to acquire it. Gather the evidence, have your conversation, and then of course, the big decision is up to you.